If you're seeing a message that says something like fail to initialize WebGL, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to fix this problem. So firstly, I'd like to say that I'm in the Brave browser, but I do get this message even in the Chrome browser. Uh, so I do suspect that the problem is caused by a Google update since the Brave browser works on Chromium, which is built by Google and works very similar to Chrome. But to make sure, let's do a diagnostics. Sounds complicated, but I promise you it isn't. So just open a new tab and then at the top in the search bar, just type in Chrome colon dash dash and GPU. Press enter and you'll see a page that looks like this. If you're using the Brave browser, instead of writing Chrome, just write in Brave and you'll, you'll see the exact same page. So under graphics, it's all listed alphabetically and where it says here WebGL and this is the problem, it's saying it's disabled. If you're seeing a message that says not available or not supported, please do continue watching the video because I'm going to cover how to fix those problems as well. So let's just open up a new tab and we want to type in Chrome colon dash dash flags, press enter and you'll see a page that looks like this and then we can scroll down or even faster just press control F and type in WebGL and then press enter. So over here, if you don't know what WebGL is, it just stands for Web Graphics Library and it's responsible for rendering the 2D and 3D graphics. So over here it says disabled. We just go on enabled, enabled, and then we just click on relaunch. And that should hopefully fix your problem. So if we go back over here, so if it says uh, something like not, not available, uh, we'll need to do if we come out of here go on to your windows logo the start start button in the bottom left corner and you want to type in device manager so we click on here And where it says display adapters, just click on this drop down button. And you can see mine says Intel HD Graphics 4000. You want to select this and then just right click and click on update driver. And that should hopefully fix that problem for you. If we go back over here, so if this one says not supported, could be a number of reasons. So one of the reasons it could be an old browser. So let's just go ahead and show you how to update your browser. So in Chrome, you would go on these three little dots. You would go on to help, go on about Chrome. And you can see over here, mine says it's Chrome is up to date. If it isn't up to date, you'd see a button over here. I think it'd start downloading the latest one and you'd click on um, update or whatever it would say over here. Very similar thing in the Brave browser. Except you go on these three little lines and you just go here about Brave and that will take you to the same sort of page. So Another problem you'll have to check is for the hardware acceleration that will need to be enabled. So I'm in the Brave browser at the moment, so I'll, I'll show you this one. So we go on here 
and we go on to settings go on to additional settings scroll down go on system and you can see over here hardware acceleration when available so this is enabled if this is not enabled just click on here and in the the chrome browser very similar kind of process so just click on those three little dots click on settings click on advanced click on system and this time we've, it's over here just like before maybe just a different color but works very similar so if that's all right and you're still having the problem um, we will need to update the graphics driver just like how we did over here if uh, you're still getting the problem of, it, of the message saying that WebGL is not supported it could be the operating system that you're using um, I know that Windows XP doesn't support WebGL um, so you may need to update your operating system but since um, Windows XP was launched in 2001 and um, that's going to be about 20 years now uh, you may find that the specifications of your computer may not handle the update so it may be time to get a new computer um, hopefully I've fixed your problem for you there uh, and thank you for watching.